Hi. Today we're going to consider for a few minutes uh, the fifth beatitude taught by Jesus. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. When I was 17 years old, I heard a message that rocked me to my very core. I heard that I was a sinner, but the best was yet to come. I then was told of a God who, because of his great love for me, sent his only son Jesus to earth to die on a cross for my sin so that I could be forgiven. And that night I found a saviour. Because of God's great mercy, he didn't give me the punishment that I deserved. But because of his grace, he gave me the gift of eternal life, which I did not deserve. In the book of Ephesians, we read that our God is rich in mercy. And there are many accounts in the Bible of mercy that was shown by ordinary people. But I'd just like to refer to one in the book of Genesis, and it's the story of Joseph. Out of jealousy, his own brothers sold him into slavery and they led their father to believe that Joseph had been attacked and killed by an animal. Years later, when Joseph became ruler over Egypt and there was a famine in the land, his brothers came before him to buy food. There was a defining moment. What would we have done? Could we have forgiven those who had treated us so badly? Not only did Joseph choose not to inflict a great punishment on them for their acts of wickedness against him, but he subsequently showed them care, support and compassion. The Bible says Joseph threw his arms around his brother Benjamin and wept, and he kissed all his other brothers and wept over them. Mercy can for us involve forgiving others who have caused us pain and who, it might be argued, don't deserve forgiveness. But mercy also involves compassion, extending a hand of kindness without conditions to those who are in need. In Matthew's Gospel, we read that when Jesus saw the crowds, he had compassion on them, for they were helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. There's a saying that I've often thought of over the years, that you cannot give out what you haven't first received. Over many years, Joseph continually experienced God's mercy, favour, protection, care and guidance. It brought him to a point where he was able to say to his brothers, do not be distressed and do not be angry with yourselves for selling me, because it was to save lives that God sent me ahead of you. If the Beatitudes are about the characteristics that we, as believers of Christ, should have, then we, like Joseph, should believe that as we show mercy to others, we are part of God's salvation plan. So I guess the question is, what does that actually mean for me and you today? Are we forgiving of those who we feel don't deserve forgiveness or those who have hurt us? Do we look at those who are struggling in life and set aside prejudice and judgment and see them as God sees them? Do we weep over them? Because of God's great mercy, he didn't give us the punishment that we deserved, but because of his grace, he gave us the gift of eternal life, which we did not deserve. Blessed are we who are merciful, for we will be shown mercy. Let's pray. Lord God, you have shown us such great mercy and forgiveness. May we allow your Holy Spirit to help us overcome any feelings that prevent us receiving your mercy or which are obstacles to us being channels of your mercy. As you pour out your mercy on us, may we have hearts that break for what breaks yours. Lord Jesus, you showed us what it means to be merciful. You heal the sick, welcomed the stranger and pardoned those who persecuted and killed you. Jesus, you said that you desire mercy. May we know no other way but to be merciful to others. Amen.